Well, so you have good athletic genes, obviously. Your dad played professional soccer. Your mom uh, played for uh, Poland's national uh, volleyball, volleyball team. Um, to what extent, though, did they never pressure you to get into uh, athletics? Um, they never pressured me uh, to get into athletics, really. But I mean, just seeing everybody one being active in my family kind of got me into it. And I, I love sports. I mean, when I was two, I just learned how to walk, you know, and I was skiing already. My parents took me really? skiing and swimming. We had a pool in our backyard. So I learned how to swim really quickly as well. And uh, we have handball. It's a very European sport. But, you know, I did that gymnastics. Um, tennis I did everything really growing up I wanted to play soccer because that's what my brother did but mm -hmm. my my dad my dad especially thought that it was a sport for guys so he's like you know trying to convince my brother to try different sports so that I would get into it and he said really? you know try tennis and uh, so then I was like okay if my brother plays tennis I want to play tennis too and uh, you know I kind of started from there then my parents were playing doubles and no one wanted to play with me because I was I wasn't good enough so uh, the competitor I am, I already had that competitive gene from very young age. I was like, you know what? I'm going to show them that you know I'm I'm going to be good enough. So I just took a racket and some balls and started hitting up against the wall for like hours and hours every day. And uh, my dad saw that and he's like, okay, you know what? If you want to play tennis, I'll help you out. And it kind of started from there. And my mom was the first one in my family to beat that I beat, and that really I was so excited. And then my dad was the next one. Do you remember beating uh, your mom or dad? I do, but the most memorable one was when I beat my brother. I was ten years old. I remember this like was it yesterday? And he was and, like fourteen or fifteen, right? Yes, your brother? he was. He's four years older. Okay. So, and he broke the rackets he had, <laughs> and he he hasn't. He's never played with me again. And, oh, uh, he hasn't. No, and actually, one of the rackets he broke was my dad's, and uh, he he was like, Carolyn, do not tell dad that I broke the racket. And I'm like, okay. And the next day we're going on holidays, and my, I'm like, what do you want to do? What what do you want me to do? So my brother just put the racket in the bag, and he thought my dad would notice. <laughs> But uh, my dad's like, okay, let me just check the strings. And he saw like the framers were, and he's like, who did this? And my brother's like, well, I kind of did. I lost to Caroline. So, yeah, and I, that was one of the highlights <laughs> and uh, something I always, uh, you know, I tell my brother from time to time, you remember that day? And he surely and does. And then never played with you again? <laughs> no. Is it true by like uh, fifth grade you knew? that you wanted to be, uh, you know, not only number one in the world, but win like all four Grand Slams, like you already had those goals? Yeah, I, uh, we have some clips that I, uh, when I was on TV, when I was about uh, maybe yeah, 11, 12, something like that, and maybe even younger, and uh, they asked me, what's your dream? And I said, my dream is to become number one in the world and, and win the four Grand Slams. So. I had I had big dreams already back then. And by, by then, I, I read somewhere that you were practicing, like at 11 years old, you're practicing 20 hours a week, six six days a, a week. I practiced a lot. I mean... Um, what, like, why that much then? Um, I don't know. I mean, when I was about 10, I had to choose between swimming and tennis because I was really good at both sports. And... Uh, my coach at tennis and my coach at swing, they're already getting upset that, you know, every other week I would do one competition over yeah. the other. And they're like, hey, you need to kind of choose, you know, what do you want to do? And why uh, did you choose tennis? I'm not a morning person. <laughs> that was <laughs> really? one of the big things, you know, being in the pool by six o'clock in the morning was really hard for me. And then cold water is not a good combo. And, and you have you to like do to that if in. you're swimming? Yeah. Okay. And then you go late nights as well. So. I thought tennis was a little bit more fun, and uh, that's that's why I chose tennis. I think I made the right choice. And, you think uh, you could have had as much success in swimming had you put your uh, I guess you know, mind to that? I guess instead? it's hard to say, but I mean, I was doing really well, and um, I guess I would have become good. I don't know yeah. how good I would have been because I always had that, you know, competitive gene again, and I always worked hard for for things. So I guess I would have reached a certain level, but I, I mean, I think I did well, you know, in <laughs> choosing tennis.